Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here having my coffee with all of you lovely, gorgeous people. It's freezing! It's 19 degrees outside and it's 8 a.m. and I haven't even went and let the chickens out yet. I'm dreading it. I had a problem getting the uh, fire started this morning. Um, and I think that's because I didn't clean out the pipe last night. So I got to go do that today. And, um... But it's going okay now. I've got the leftover beans on the stove. I'm going to add some water and some macaroni to it to make it go a little bit further. But I'm going to go outside armed for battle today. I've got my uh, gloves lined with more microfiber gloves. And I'm going to try and shove some of these hand warmers up into it just to keep them warm for a little while longer. And, um, gosh, you know what, someone, uh, nobody but spam calls me. Anyhow, um, I hope my fingers won't freeze off, so I've got to get out there, let the chickens out. I'm going to bring some water from inside the house, outside, because everything's going to be frozen solid. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, my gosh, I made it. I made it inside, and those little hand warmers, I don't even remember who sent them to me. I've had multiple people send me uh, hand warmers and foot warmers, they work tremendously. It saved me basically out there today. Just putting them in my glove in the palm of my hand. It didn't keep my fingers warm, but anytime I my fingers were freezing, I would just do this, and it would um, it would warm them up. And it just gave me a, the illusion that I was warmer the rest of my body. So I had to hack away at water. I didn't feel any of it. I just wanted to get it done. I think this is the coldest it's been so far this year. And the thing is, is yesterday it was cold, so all of all of the walls and my things and everything is cold, um, and it's not going to get up to, I don't even think it's going to get up to freezing today, and with the wind chill, there's a very slight breeze, so it makes it feel warmer, I mean colder. Anyhow, um, I've got a lot to do today. Um, I'm running low on wood. i got to bring more wood inside. I... I need to chop up some more wood and the wood that I like to burn best is cedar it burns really hot and it burns longer some of this other stuff is just it burns so quickly but oh I just gotta have my coffee and warm up can you tell oh my gosh I look terrible oh I'm sufficiently coffeeed up I made a rumble video yeah go check it out I posted it yesterday the sun is out and I think that I'm ready to go out and brave the cold it's not even freezing yet Oh, looky, I left the gate open, and I got chickens in here. Yeah, they came in the yard. That's okay. If they can forage in here, hey, Papa, I'm all for it. Yeah, if they can find food, I'm cool with that. First thing I got to do is find me some more wood to bring inside. Oh, my goodness, Patsy got out, and I don't know how, so I need to see if I can get her back in. Got her back in. All I did was just lower this and throw some food in there. <sighs> I don't know how she got out. That's about all I have the energy for today. Um, phew, my head hurts. I mean, it is so cold that my brain feels like it's freezing. So I'm going to get this inside the tiny house and then... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I got to go do the... I got to go do that pipe first. Yeah, look at that pipe. It was really encrusted. I've been working at it for about five minutes. But, yeah, if you have one of these little guide gear stoves, oops, that's from my mittens, you got to get out and clean, in particular this part, every few days, that is if you're burning it every day like I do. Otherwise, you're going to get smoke inside your house, and that's not going to be nice. I'll be glad that I did this later tonight. <laughs> there we go. Got the ashes cleaned out. That feels pretty good too. A lot of them are still hot, so I'm not going to be able to use them for anything. I'm just going to throw them in the fire pit. But whew, I am glad I did that. Look at this. In the file cabinet, in the van, I got one little teeny weeny little egg. I'm wondering... If Patsy, who's a couple days over 21 weeks, got up in here and laid this egg. I don't know. That is, it's a very small egg. 
See, look at that. That's one in the middle. Those are two other just normal sized eggs. Um, and the reason why I say that is because the other chickens don't lay in the file cabinet anymore. Uh, one of them has turned it into a roosting box, so I don't know. Maybe it was Patsy getting up in there while she was out. I have no idea how long she was out. Who knows? See those two rocks right down there? I keep them against this so that the, the door won't come swinging open. They are frozen solid to the ground. No way to get them off, so I'm just going to have to climb over here to go in and check for eggs. Oh, hooray! They're laying in the nesting boxes. We got one, two, and it doesn't look like anybody has laid on the floor of this coop. Thank you, ladies. I'm just taking a break to warm my tootsies up. Got my slippers on, got a nice fire going, got my dinner cooking. And I don't know if I'm going to say this every year, but... I don't remember it being this cold last year. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and look at some of my old videos because it is very cold, but it could be so much worse if I didn't have the insulation, if I didn't have the walls up. Oh, my goodness. It could be so much worse. So I'm just going to sit here, warm up for a little while longer before I have to go back out. Basically, all I have to do is pull the wagon down at the end of the street um, and then put the chickens up and then come back and enjoy my meal but boy I have a headache you guys I have a headache and I feel like my brain is not functioning correctly oh my gosh those are symptoms of you know what <laughs> no I don't have it anyway I gotta get back outside I'm done I am done for today I didn't do very much I got some wood brought it inside move some water around can you hear me over the wagon? Anyhow, I am I am exhausted. This cold just takes it out of me. I know I'm sounding like a beacon blender because there's some people who have it a whole lot worse than me. Whole lot. Um, colder. <laughs> Anyhow, I can't even think straight. My brain is so frozen. So, I think I'm just going to cut this one here. I got a fire going inside. I'm going to go make me some comfort food. I might bake something tonight. I might use that old-fashioned bread maker again and maybe make something really sweet and yummy. Mm. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Oh my gosh, my first white egg. I can't believe it. I came out here to put the chickens to bed and there's a white egg. Thank you, thank you, Mama. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.